We are expecting the rule of law to be upheld in Namdekano's case. The Nigerian Bar Association, MBA, Onosha branch has expressed hope that the rule of law will prevail in the final termination of the treasonable charges against the leader of the Nigerian people of Biafra, Ipo Mazin Namdekano. The statement is coming ahead of the scheduled December 15th Supreme Court judgment on the federal government appeal against the judgment of the Court of Appeal, which has earlier discharged an acquitted canon of all charges of treasonable felony and consequently ordered his unconditional release. Speaking yesterday at the annual 2023 Law Week, with them ensuring the rule of law in a flawed justice judicial in a flawed judicial and political environment. Chairman of the Onisha branch, Dick Skinoba said that refusing to release the IPOBLI there despite the verdict from the High Court and the Appeal Court does not push the narrative that there is an advancement of the rule of law in a judicial and political environment. According to him, we are expecting the rule of law to be upheld, a situation where both the High Court and Appeal Court ordered his release and it was disobeyed does not go well for the advancement of the rule of law in the judicial and political environment. Now we have come to the end of the news, Manayasis. In this, you will not hear anybody making comment because Nigerians believe that Namde Kano is the problem. This is a man who has done everything possible to liberate Nigerians from the poverty that the politicians have kept them. But for Nigerians, some of them, or should I say all of them, they believe that He wants to defy Nigeria. They will no longer see resources. And this is the people who have suffered for so many years without any tangible thing to show for the Nigeria. They claim they are one Nigeria. There is resources everywhere in Nigeria. There is good. There is resources everywhere. And no, there is good. And those who claim they have found oil there. And some part of Europe, but they claim they have oil there. So what are we talking about here? Biafrans believe so much in human resources. That is where, why, whatever they are, something move where there. Nigerian government are aware of this. This was why they left Hebo land the way it is today. This was why they refused to build support for Igbo people. This was why they refused to be international support for Igbo people. And they don't want them to talk about it. For it to be such thing, government have to approve it. Because why? Because they want Igbos to continue to move aside. Why they move aside? Why that place develop? Their land continue to remain disgusting. This was planned after the war. Apart from giving them only 20 pounds for a restart, even those that have a thousand pounds, those that have hundred thousand pounds, we are giving 20 pounds of their money. The Yorubas and Fulanese at the money of Igbos, use some of them buy several banks the money the sweat of Igbos and today they have continued to des destroy their properties in Lagos and people have refused to get sense when he is in time to make money Igbo men have sense but to protect that money, Igbo man does not. That is the truth. 
If not, I wonder why. Can they use that strength they are using to fight in Lagos to come back home and fight for their land and make sure that they have the support they deserve and make sure they have the international support they deserve? Some of them claim that Tiboland cannot control of them, just like the way one woman was ranting like a parrot while their house had been diminished. Not all of us cannot go back to Igbo land because it cannot contain us. But all Yorubas are Yoruba land. And so many of you too are there with them. How come the place contain them? Are you telling me that Igbo people that are overseas, that Yorubas are overseas are much bigger than them? Time shall come when we should continue to lose ourselves the truth. Before I deviated a little, I was talking about Mazin and the Kano and MBA, Nigerian Bar Association. They want Nam the Kano to be released. They want the federal government to obey the appeal court order. And the other high court that said the federal government should release him that they have no case. But the question is. This federal government who control the court because we all know that they are the one controlling the court. Those judges that judge them the Kalu case in a big court didn't see what happened. Some of them were retired while some was transferred. This is because they find out that the judiciary is actually becoming a joke. Why do you use them like chess players? And today, Tinibu is using them. Tinibu used them to win election. He now is still using them. Now, in fact, he has, he, he's holding them tight. Because some of them are corrupt. Some of them are bias. So it will be very easy to send ESCs after them, catch up them and put them somewhere. But him as the president, nothing will happen to him. He has already entered, became president, become president. With bribe and everything. But the truth is this. We will no longer tolerate this. A man was set free since one year. And today he's still in prison custody. Turned that year. What is she? We are going to do something rash. If they don't set him free. Because we can see it's right now that this is about ethnicity. It's no longer that the man committed crime. But it's about ethnicity. Some people are trying to keep Igbo man down. Some people are trying to keep Igbo voice down because they have found that Tinam the Kalu is the voice of Biafra. Forget about all this aspect of the war and the other is making. We know where they belong. It's all about bribery, bribery, bribery. If Nam the Kano decide to collect bribe to death from Nigerian government, it will be trillions of naira. And they will pay it. British will even pay more. Because he refused to accept bribe. That is why they could not suffocate him. But enough is enough. We will no longer tolerate it. NBA should march. I've said it before. You are not doing Nam Dekai. You are doing yourself. Because you are the one who the so-called federal government have read the call to the end. To the end of pushing you around. You are no longer judiciary. You are no longer MBA. You are no longer people who are supposed to protect human life and human property. Now you are a toy in the hands of Nigerian government. It's time to redeem yourself and make things sure that this thing stops. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for listening.